Hello everyone, welcome to this video. If you've seen my um, vlog videos on the cruise ship, on the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady, you'd know that my mobility scooter failed. Not dramatically, but we didn't. I didn't check the tyres uh, prior to putting it in the car, unloading it at the port to find out both back tyres had gone flat. Bit of a bummer. Uh, managed to pump up one, so that we're thinking just went down over time, which tyres do. This one, however, um, went to pump it up and noticed the valve has completely come away from the inner tube. Now, I'm not blaming anyone, it's probably my fault for because I sat on it, rode it for about a couple of seconds and realised something was wrong and I'm guessing where it's flat it's rubbed or something and come away totally no one else to blame but myself anyway, it's only an inner tube where'd you get the inner tubes? well, I went down to Halfords and um, tried to pick up some inner tubes but they don't seem to sell them now I don't know whether that's because of Covid and they're not getting stock so, wifey managed to pick these up on Amazon, £10, works out £5 each. These are uh, the exact tyre, I think. They've got um, the bent valves as well, makes it easier to pump them up. That's just off centre so you can get a pump on it. You don't want to bend them. And also, we picked up... Um, I think this was on Amazon as well, but this was separate. I don't, I can't remember how much this is. I put it on the screen as and when I find out. But yeah, that's a, a bent valve as well for this. Just again, it's off centre, just so you can get a pump on it. That tyre seems okay, so I'll use this as a spare. One thing I would recommend when you're doing this: don't just buy them and assume that these are a-okay. Pump them up. Put them in a bit of water, you know, like the old school days that you were uh, mountain biking or whatever. Um, make sure there's no bubbles, because um, there are manufacturing faults. So you can't blame the company if they come with pinholes in them, because it does happen sometimes around the uh, the valve as well. So I'm going to be putting these on. Also, just to protect myself. I went down to Halfords today and brought some of this. Now this is slime basically. <laughs> it's actually called slime. Uh, I can't remember how much this is. Again, I will put it down on the screen. Um, tube sealant. So what this does is just protects your wheels. So if you go over something and it has to be in the, the tread path. Now what I mean by that is up the top really not at the sides, the walls are not protected. So if you go over, let's say a drawing pin, this, as it's going around, because this doesn't solidify or nothing, this is just liquid that is constantly spinning and spinning and spinning in the tire. So if you go over a pin like that, take the pin out or the pin just falls out, because the slime's in there, it will seal it straight away. You might have to pump it up a, a little bit because some of the air might get out, not much, but it's always handy to have, and I normally do in the back here, have one of those mini hand pumps, just because you never know. Um, I've been to Walt Disney World and one of the tires was going flat. Not flat flat, it was just getting softer. Um, and I think, again, that's just over time, the air leaks, nothing major. So I'll be putting the slime in, um, I have been told you can go to Halfords, take your mobility scooter, in this case it's an e-foldy, um, and they'll do it for you. I don't know how much it is, but obviously you buy the slime and uh, they'll put it in for you. I don't know how much that costs. I don't want to say a price, because your Halfords might be different to my Halfords. Um, so, there we go. So that's what I'm going to do today. All I'm going to be needing is some tire levers which again got from Halfords not affiliated with Halfords they let me buy them <laughs> I 
which was nice of them. I think they were about three pounds. Um, I did have some before I even needed a mobility scooter, but I can't find them. So brought them three pounds. They're apparently they're glass fiber. You get three of them. I think they're all the same. Um, it's just for levering off the tire to get the inner tube out. So I'm going to be doing that next. Let's get to it. Right, all I'm going to be doing, got, got me proper bike pump there. So that's four mountain bikes. Again, I haven't ridden a mountain bike in years. So um, I do want to get back onto it, but it's a bit difficult the way I'm feeling right now. So all we're going to want to do is, I think you can even take the cap. Just let the air out. I'm going to change this one. Just because I'll do both. Why not? Okay. Use my newly brought tools. And all these do is just lever, you can lever the tire off. There we go, just one. And all effectively, all you're doing, see, there's a Kind of a curve, you're hooking the tire and bringing it out. So, hooking the tire, bring it towards me. There we go, job done. Actually, you might be able to get. Make sure you don't grab the inner tube with it. It's not as easy as I remember it being a kid. There we go. So because the tire's okay, we're gonna leave that on the rim. Push the valve in because we don't, get, don't want that getting caught. And there we go, success. That has degraded quite a lot actually. I mean, it still worked, but could you see the amount of rubber that's come off of that? So let's compare it with this guy. Now, this guy has got a bit more of a a curved I don't know the camera's picking it up see how curved that is compared to this one there we go so I'm um, these I'm hoping will be a lot easier to get to like so um, so yeah so let this guy down we'll put it in and then we'll put the slime in as well. So I'll be back in a minute. Saying that as well, where your um, your stem comes out, there's a hole. And uh, just make sure there's no jaggedy bits because some people have had that. Now you can file them down, use a Dremel, if there is any, mine there isn't, but um, that could hurt potentially the valve, the valve seal. So, um, yep. Okay, so that's in now, and basically we just need to put the wheel back on. I mean, I am struggling a bit because I struggle with grip, so if you're the same, you might just want to pay. Alfred's because I mean hey they're a bike shop and they know what they're doing probably do it a lot quicker than I can D 
Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're back. So I've changed the other tire. So both back tires are done. Um, here we go. So it says peel the back for instructions, and I actually found this harder than changing the tire. Is that crazy or what? Um, so you peel it. Finally got it done. And that'll give you instructions. So basically what we've got to do is um, position the valve, the valve right, there we go. Take off this doohickey, that will take off the actual valve stem. And then allow the tyre to fully deflate. Remove the object that we've... Uh... What's that? Yeah, remove the object, so that basically. And... Um, We'll attach the hose, which is on the back here, and squirt in the liquid. And then reinstall the valve with this, again, doohickey. And um, add the air, so add it to your preference. Some people like a bit of a softer ride so they don't put as much air in it. And um, then once it's uh, all aired up, just keep spinning it for a little while just to let the uh, the liquid seal and do its job. Now this lasts for about two years. And um, I don't know what happens, whether it just goes off or, or whatever, but it's time to change your tire anyway. Time to change your inner tubes because they probably would have got a lot of abuse. And um, that's the job done. So um, then instructions, let's crack on with it. So again, we're at the back, you get the tool, that just unscrews, and that's going to take our valve stem out. Just double check, it's always good to double check. So, it just wants us to twist it. So put it in, twist. Valve stem out. Now, this is tiny. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but there's a way that this fits in. So just keep spinning it until it goes in. I don't know, really don't know whether the camera can pick this up. It's really difficult, sorry. But there you go. It's just like a, a socket. It'll, it'll grab it once it grabs it, you know, there's a couple of teeth. I'm really sorry. It's really difficult to do that on camera, but there you go. So don't lose your valve. So the next thing we need to get the tube. Unscrew the lid because there's probably going to be, yeah, there's a seal on it. So, uh, put that in the bin. There we go. So, it's just green, green gunk really with bits in it. So, add the tube to the top. Right, so it doesn't actually say how much you should use. I don't know whether you should use that on a full tire on a mountain bike, but where we're using this on um, basically an electronic scooter, what I'm gonna do is do three lots. There's no, there's no science behind it. Um, it doesn't actually say you have to fill the complete tire up, but you wanna use it all because um, why not? So, that's how we should be looking with the uh, little tube on top. What this has done, where we've taken the stem out, um, there is just like a hole basically going straight in to the inner tube. So we should see, there we go. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. I can't go in any closer, unfortunately. But there we go, that's just that he's putting gunk in there. 
that's flowing quite nicely. Now I just want to make sure I've got enough for all three tyres. There we go. So just be careful, protect your valve stem. So it wants us to reinstall the valve cover. So we'll put the valve stem in exactly the same way we took it out. Put that in first. And then using the tool we screw that back into position. There we go, you don't don't really crank it down because it doesn't need it. So we spin the tire. So all we're doing is just moving the goop round. Doesn't say how many times, but just spin it. And then we're going to put some air in it. Now this is where it comes in handy to have this at a uh, 90 degree angle, because we're not putting any pressure on the valve stem or the inner tube that it's connected to. I was going to show you, that's the one that completely snapped off. So. I don't know whether that just perished or what, but anyway. So we're gonna put some uh, put some air in it. Just don't overdo it. I like mine quite firm. That'll do me. And that my friends. It's job done. So I'll spin it around again. Put the valve cap back on. And I would say, jobs are good. Okay, so the front wheel. Um, this is a little bit difficult because you need tools this time. So you take the black cap off the uh, the right hand side. Carefully take the black cap off on the left hand side, but because there's a wire connected to the motor, we're going to be we're going to want to be quite careful. So a ratchet, 17 mil on the right hand side, and just an adjustable spanner. On the left hand side and all I want to do is loosen them up I'll loosen this one up as well And of course, I didn't undo the air. We've got to get it past the brake calipers. Now that we deflated the tire, uh, we've taken off the wiring loom. All that does is just pop out, be careful. So now we can squeeze the tire past the brakes and we've got the tire off. There we go. Be careful not to bend any of those because they're prongs. And when you put it back in, there's a little arrow on this side and a little arrow on that side to tell you that's the way to plug it in. So now we can do the same with this wheel.
there we go so although that's still held up I'm just going to change it for peace of mind so here's the new one and again that's got a nice right angled um, stem which I think is going to make things so much easier it actually comes with uh, nuts as well so you can put it in the right place that's cool and the thing to look out for again is the hole the stem comes out of again mine seems okay but some people are saying that um, theirs are quite rough so again you can use a dremel or just a uh, file file that so it looks nice but mine mine looks okay so quite happy with that so I'm gonna put the new one in just make sure okay. and again just be careful of the valve the front one even though it's a bit more of a pain to take off it's easier to put the tire back on there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump this up just to open up the uh, the airbag the airbag the um, inner tube and uh, then I'll slime it Okay, so uh, we can't put the tire on when it's fully inflated because we need to squeeze the tire past the brake caliber. So we'll do that now. Okay, so now we've got the tire back on. We've got the nuts tightened back up. Go ahead and carefully thread that back through. That's that one. I'm gonna put the cap on the other side. There we go, job done. Make sure they're tightened up. Done. So this is the stage where you want to make sure nothing's hitting, and when I mean that, um, we've obviously got uh, the valve stem because it's bent at a 90 degree angle. <laughs> Has the potential to hit the brake, uh, the brake pad, and mine's clearing nicely. Uh, yeah, it's all good. So we'll pump that up. Again, just to expand the um, the inner tube. So I'll put the valve back in. There we go. Okay, so to button everything up, we need to put this lead back on. This lead is uh, for the motor. And like I said, there's an arrow on one side and an arrow on the other. Make sure they meet up. And just push that home. Job done, the arrows meet up. So let's uh, turn it on. Job done. It may look weird because there's no air in the... Uh, in the tire so next thing we need to do got my uh, lovely slime again put this on the valve stem and 
and we're just going to squeeze that in to the inner tube. And I've done my calculations and uh, basically I've kind of measured just a rough measurement just so I can do all three tyres because I only brought the smaller one because I'm not I'm not doing bikes I'm not, like I say I'm only doing uh, the mobility tyres and this has worked out a treat so I've just done basically a quarter a quarter a quarter <clears throat> if that makes sense it does in my head anyway um, right so we can put the valve stem back on And to be honest, I find this quite easy because I tinker around with stuff like this. If you don't, you might find this a bit more difficult. Okay, so we'll pump that up. So put the valve cap back on that. And again, I want to make sure it's not hitting anything. Now, nope, job done. I've had the mechanical kind of brake disabled in this. Brian disabled it for me because I wanted that. Um, I don't know if that's an actual thing you can do. This is the older model. The newer models have circuit boards, I've been told. So. Um, I don't know if it's possible, I don't know if it's more easy to do. You'll have to let, um, ask Brian if your one goes in for a service. Brian, if you're watching, um, thanks buddy for doing that and I'm sorry if I've told everyone and everyone wants it done. <laughs> um, that's why I'm able to free wheel this. Yours might be a bit more difficult, I don't know. If that's the case, you know when I said turn, just to get the slime going around, you can always just start it up and there you go that's spinning around nicely job done so uh, after that I would make sure everything that you've done everything's back in place um, that's that's really firm yeah, so job done. I was, uh, I'm quite pleased with that. So I'll button everything up, make sure everything's right, and I'll come back to you. So in conclusion, well, it was easy, but I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, I've changed loads of bike tires before. Um, I found that easy. I had the right tools and um, and a, a knowledge. If you don't know what you're doing. Seriously, go to Halfords and um, get them to do it. Or, I don't know if he Foldy do it, I'm sure he Foldy change tyres. But again, um, it all costs. I like doing stuff like this, so um, I found it quite relaxing. It's a bit difficult because I'm suffering with pain, um, but it all turned out lovely, and um, I don't lose my mobility scooter for however long they keep it for I don't use this all the time but it's there when I need it and sometimes boy do I need it um, like today I'm suffering probably a lot more now because I've done this but I enjoyed it I wanted to uh, just show you guys you can do it at home but seriously if you have no idea what you're doing don't do it because you could you could screw something up and it'll cost you a lot more in the long run I changed the front tire because I mean this this is perfect you know I could always keep that in the garage for when I need it we are going to order a spare set of tyres because you know I don't want to be caught with my pants down I know I've got the goop in there but you never know something else might happen I just 
want to make sure I've got some in stock. Um, I sound like a shop there in stock. Um, yeah, so I recommend this slime. It's easy, very easy in fact. It's just called slime. You can get that on Amazon. I got it from Halfords because I needed it there and then, and I think it was roughly the same price. So um, it was easy to do, but I have knowledge in what I'm doing. So again, I can't stress this enough because I don't want you to ruin your scooter. If you have no idea, if you're not confident at all, just take it to Alfred's. They may, may charge you, again, I don't know. Um, maybe because it's a mobility scooter, you might get it a bit cheaper. I don't know because my Halfords is gonna be different to your Halfords. I enjoyed it. Um, I hope people have learned that you can do it at home. The back ones are a lot easier. The front one is a bit harder because you have to disconnect the motor and uh, take those bolts off. But if you have a bit of knowledge, you can do it. It's easy, um, but only if you know how. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to know anything else about me, about my, this mobility scooter, it's by eFoldy. I'll link down in the description. I've got to say, they're not cheap, but I'll tell you what, they're so much better than those big bulky ones that you get. This thing folds up and goes into your car as like hand luggage, basically. Um, that's why I love it. But the way it's been designed, it's like it is a transformer. It is a fair bit of money. There will be a link in the description if you're thinking about getting it. Um, there'll be a code. Put that code in, you'll get some money off, and uh, I get a little bit of recognition from eFoldy. And uh, if you have any questions, give them a call. You can get these, um, I think there are models that people come around and there's models that you can try out before you buy lovely company they're the only company that i can fairly i can put my hand on my heart and say they really care about their customers and um i've been down there before covid and i'll tell you what everyone is so friendly Every, friendly nice you got any questions queries they are so good and um shout out to mel paul and brian you guys you rock it. Thank you so much for uh, everything you've done. So in conclusion, I think it took me about an hour, but I'm filming, taking breaks because of the pain. Um, you could probably do it quicker. The first tire took me a little while. The second tire, it was off in no time. And the third tire, the front one, took a little while longer because of obviously the bolts, but take photos of everything before you dismantle it because then you can always go back that's it guys thanks for watching as i say any questions drop them down there and uh i'll answer them to the best of my knowledge if you haven't done already think about subscribing give me a little cheeky thumbs up because it will make me feel so much better and yeah guys see you on the next one